Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Psycho, and I've got another Walking Dead video for you all today. This one is actually going to be over the recently extremely popular topic of the use of Morse code by Daryl Dixon towards Rick Grimes in the latest episode of The Walking Dead. This is a theory that has been raging throughout the fan base recently, and many people have been talking about it. Unfortunately, due to college, I know I am a little late coming into the discussion, but I still know that some of you would like to hear what I think about this. Right off the bat, I just want to say that I am always an open-minded person. I know there are people out there that don't enjoy fan theories very much. However, I do like the creativity of the people when they come up with certain theories. However, some can be more ridiculous than others, but I do think it's interesting to see what people are coming up with based on the content we are given throughout the episodes. I've been known to have some crazy theories in the past, but I think it's kind of fun to think outside of the box for once and see what you can come up with. However, whatever you come up with does have to have some sort of support behind it. I don't think people should call others stupid for coming up with this theory because it did take some thinking to come up with some things like this, even though there are some very unrealistic ideas behind it. Moving on, if you don't know what this theory is about already, it's from episode 4 of season 7 titled Service, and it's at the scene where Negan and the Saviors arrive at Alexandria, Rick tries to talk to Daryl, and then Negan tells him that he cannot talk to Daryl. It then shows a scene of Daryl blinking pretty rapidly, and then it moves the shot back over to Rick Grimes, and I think that's the moment where people think he's trying to actually communicate to Rick, because not only does it show Daryl blinking, but it also then shows Rick Grimes looking, possibly looking at Daryl right after, and I think a lot of people believe he is trying to interpret what Daryl's blinking at in Morse code, but I really think one of the things that tops the cake with this theory is the fact that an American Morse code sign was shown in a scene with shown. If it wasn't for this sign, I don't think anybody would be talking about this at all, and I even found it a little strange to see this sign in that scene, and I thought, whoa, hold up a second, there might be an easter egg with this Morse code sign. I can't lie, because after I saw that, I did start thinking a little bit, what does that mean? Are they going to use something like that in this episode? Does it relate to something? Usually things that you see in the background of some scenes do have some meaning behind them, because I know there was one with a church and Father Gabriel, and on the wall behind him in that church were Bible verses. And if you go and look up those Bible verses, it talks about the dead rising and different things like that. And I think that's the part where people actually started looking a lot more for this sign of Morse code being used in the episode. Now that you guys know that, I'm going to give my evaluation of the theory. Personally, I do not think this theory is true. I honestly just think it's that people are overreading things. They're looking too much into it and finding things that actually aren't there, but seem like they could be possible. To me, it just looked like Norman Reedus was blinking for an acting position for Daryl Dixon. It felt like with Daryl blinking a lot and looking down, it made him look like a beaten dog that now has no major motive and just falls in line behind someone. I just think it was more of an acting thing rather than hinting at Morse code. Of course, I could be wrong and you guys could be right, but that is just personally my opinion and my perspective on this idea. Plus, it would be a little random to have the show just be like, oh yeah, Daryl and Rick know Morse code. Very, very recently, as I'm recording today, Scott Gimple actually gave his thoughts out on this fan theory and actually pretty much deconfirmed it, in my opinion. From an article on comicbook.com, Scott M. Gimple says, I heard about this on set yesterday. I would like to live in a world where Daryl Dixon residuously learns Morse code and knows that Rick has an intimate knowledge of Morse code as well and that they have practiced this with blinks. I would love that. I will also say that it was an incredibly sunny day, Gimple said, but I will say this. The fans of this show are the greatest fans that watch a television program. The stories that they tell and the things that they gleam out of it are actually really thrilling. It just excites me that they have enough faith that we put in some labyrinth theme kind of stuff. I would love to live in a world where that was true, but it also could have been a sunny day. Hazy too, which makes it worse. So basically, in my eyes, Scott M. Gimple is deconfirming this theory in a very polite way. He's saying that it was a sunny day and that we were actually kind of reading into it a little too much, but he does respect the fact that fans have enough faith in this show to be intelligent to possibly put something in the show like this. This was pretty much my theory evaluation. In addition to Scott M. Gimple's thought on the theory, I really hope you 
all enjoyed this video. It does mean a lot to me that you actually clicked on it and viewed it. It would also mean a lot to me if you decided to leave a like on this video. It really supports the channel and future Walking Dead videos. Thank you guys so much again for watching. Peace out.